Here's a quick look at taking derivatives with Maple. So imagine you have problems like this. Differentiate functions of varying complexities, or finding the third derivative of a function. Well, the basic idea in Maple is if you give me a formula, I'll right-click on it and select the right option. So say x squared minus the square root of x cubed plus 13 minus 2 divided by x plus 1. So I'll type that in, double-check that I'm right, and again, the easiest option is to select this output, right-click, and there in the middle is differentiate, and this asks what letter it is, so differentiate with respect to x. And the syntax is just diff, comma, in there, and an x. And here's the output right here. So there's the first guy. It's using the power rule here, the chain rule on the second piece, and the quotient rule over here. It's a very powerful differentiator. So let's try the second guy. Now the second guy, if you just type in x cubed times the sine to the fourth times x to the eight, Maple will spit out x to the eleven sin to the fourth, and that's just a meaningless, meaningless expression. The first thing we're going to have to do for the second guy is parse it correctly. That's really x cubed times the sine of x to the eighth, all raised to the fourth power. x cubed the sine of x to the eighth, all raised to the fourth power. Now that I've got it entered correctly, I can right-click on this, and again, I'll choose differentiate with respect to x, and I'll get that horrible beastie right there. Now one of the things that you might have to do is you might want to be factoring in things like this. And a lot of times Maple won't simplify its derivative, so you can select on that, right-click, and choose simplify, maybe simplify uh, symbolic or one of those options. And in this case, Maple goes and it pulls out an x squared, and a 1 minus cosine of x to the 8th squared from the remaining, and a sine of x to the 8th from the remaining pieces. How about this last guy? Let me clean up some space so we don't fall off the screen here. Uh, x to the sine of x, that's a crazy function. He's relatively easy to enter, x to the sine of x. I can select this, right click, and get differentiate with respect to x. And Maple will tell me that its derivative is this complicated looking beastie right here. How Maple does it is a mystery. It's just capable of differentiating a lot of things. How about this last guy, the third derivative of p times tangent of p? So p times the tangent of p. I'll enter that first. I can select this, click differentiate with respect to the variable p, and there's my first derivative. So what I could do I could select this again and again and again, differentiate with respect to p, there's the second derivative. I could differentiate with this again with respect to p, there's the third derivative, and then I could go and try to simplify this just to make it look a little bit better. And it manages to simplify it down in terms of sines and cosines as that, which may or may not be an, an improvement right here. But you certainly don't want to do this for, say, a 15th derivative. And it turns out that there is an easier way of getting the job done. The syntax for derivatives is diff, whatever the function is, and then p. However, if I were to write pp with a comma here, that tells Maple to differentiate this once with respect to p, and then twice. So that would be a second derivative, and you can see that these two lines match up. If I were to go and write pp, then you'll see that these two lines match up. And so that's a fast way of getting a third derivative is you just write PPP -P -P three times like this. So that's slightly more efficient, but if you still had to do a 15th derivative, it would be tough to write 15 of these down. So there's yet an even faster way for a third derivative. And you write P dollar sign th three. And P dollar sign three, let me rerun that, get you the exact same command for free. But now if you need to do a 15th derivative, I could just type in p dollar sign 15, and there it is, without me having to do 15 smaller steps in the middle. So there's the very, very basics of differentiating in Maple.